Right, so this is that 500 gallon tank. Uh, I'll be uh, doing a water change today, cleaning the filters in the sump, and how I get the water out is uh, I hook up a pump that's not too strong, so it actually buys me some time. Water comes out just like that, and uh, it actually allows me to do all the vacuuming of the rocks and scrubbing of the glass and everything. Um, and uh, when it gets down to about this level, at 50%, I uh, start to fill it. But that's how I drain it, or that's how I remove the majority of the water. Moving back and forth from that end to this end, I still go through about uh, 30 gallons in the bucket with the vacuum. What I do is I remove the filters, <coughs> the sponges, and I take the, uh, the water that's coming from the tank and I wash the sponges very well in a bucket and then uh, I'll dump this and then do it all, all over again. Now, sponges are clean and when I squeeze it there's just going to be very little discoloration in that. I uh, rinse them off uh, four times and I'm happy with that. Been on this one, I have a really long uh, hose, and I start vacuuming it like a regular fish tank. Basically, that's what I pull out of the gravel. Do about six buckets going all the way across this.
now I've taken out three buckets and I'm actually over here. So I've done probably a four or five foot section of the tank, three buckets, while this pump is constantly pumping everything to the uh, to the uh, sink. So I'm 33% done vacuuming this thing and then I'll just do the rest. <laughs> So by the time I vacuum the gravel all the way across to the other side, I'm at like 25% water change. Now I can start scrubbing the glass, uh, decorations, plants and stuff like that and uh, start from there again and then go down to here. Alright, so now let's uh, scrub down the tank starting from one end. scrubbing down the tank I'm gonna look for hard algae spots and then uh, get it with uh, I can't find the word but like a, a stronger uh, cloth but this for now looks pretty good let's see <clears throat> all right so on the algae spots that um, I missed with the with the towel I get with this this is by Kent Marine it's a uh, acrylic scraper this thing is amazing and that just gets everything else off of the glass and then I just spend the next five minutes looking at the fish tank seeing if I missed anything and if I miss something I just go at it just like that That's pretty much it for the scrubbing part. This tank, pretty clean. And uh, try to get this back together now. All right, last step on this tank is filling it up. Use a hose. Um, when they built this tank, they made it very easy for uh, for water changes. Uh, my client had this one installed. It's, I think it's uh, soft water coming out of here. And it's uh, specifically for uh, this fish tank. So it's about a 35% 30, water change. Took some water out of the sump too because I cleaned it out. And uh, we'll fill it until it overflows. And uh, we'll see. fish tank is now clean and dusted everything from the stand cleaned the glass everything on the lid everything on the sides and uh, this tank is done this tank is done